Hello guys, and this art fight is ending for this year. Um, I would like to make a video of all of my attacks and all of the defenses that I got this year. Uh, I know there's still two days left from when I recorded this video, but I'm not going to post anymore. I am completely worn out from art fight. And I highly doubt I will have any more defenses, but if I do, I will put them in the video later. I will not post this video until... Um, art fight is officially ended. So, I'd like to go into my channel, or into my profile, and show you, first of all, my characters for this year. I have Slush, Dinger Bataday, Wolfsbane, Twisted, Quicksand, Xanthan, Abraxas, Fraction, Oleander, my Minecraft skin, which I have no name for, and 733. Clairvoyant is a character that my friend posted and was hoping to get art from, but unfortunately nobody actually attacked that one. So yeah, alright, now I will go to my current attacks this year. I've done 28 attacks, which is quite a lot uh, for my drawing abilities. But I quite enjoyed it this year. It was quite fun. So first of all, this is Mango um, by XLEBBB underscore B. Um, I think it's a really cute character, so I just had to draw it. And I really love the Dreamcore liminal style of this. It's just really cute um, in a way that a lot of people would probably think creepy. But I really like it. It's really cute. Um, and then Freezer Beast by Spicy Pine Needles. Um, I've really enjoyed fighting Spicy Pine Needles. She has really cool characters and a lot of lore for her characters and stuff. And, um, she's really kind and stuff, too. So, next, my third attack this year was Leeds by Octofan, and they have a lot of really neat characters. They're very simplistic and very, very cute. I really like them. They're all really great. And then the next one, I accidentally got out of it real quick. Next one is by uh, Carmen X3. Um, and she has three cute characters. And fourth, I had a lot of fun with. It's very detailed character, and I did not get it to the um, degree that I wanted for this video, or for this art piece, because it was such, such a complicated character, as you can see here. Uh, this one was by, uh, I'm not sure how to spell, how to say that, so I'm just gonna let you see that. And they have really cute characters, and I would have liked to draw more, but I had other things to do, so. Um, next one, I got out of it again, really bad at that, is Vode. Also another really cool character that I would have liked to spend a lot more time on. If you can, can't can tell, I used the same background from the last one because it was just fun and it I honestly took a while to make because I'm not really good at drawing backgrounds. And this was their original character by Mushy the Monk. And they have some fun characters. Um, then... There's this one. So this one was honestly made as a joke. Um, I'm pretty sure there was just no design made, but I thought it was funny. So I just decided to just draw the, the image that they used as a film. It's just fun. And this is by Arsenic Catnip. They have some really cute characters, but I cannot draw humans very well, so I decided to not do any more of those. 
Next one is Patch. I had a lot of fun drawing this one, and I really like the glitchy texture I put on the outlines. This is by Mabel T. Um, as you can see there, there's her character. And I was planning on drawing Annis also, because it's a really cute character, but I didn't end up getting back to that one. Then there's Pish. I drew two of Pish. Um, I'll show you one later. By Purple Fish. I've done some stuff with Purple Fish on YouTube before. Also, um, a while ago I made a character based on their name and it was pretty fun. Then this one. This one may seem really weird to you guys and it's meant to. It's a joke because I went into the description of this character, and it says, A nightmare shadow creature that likes to nibble on toes when you poke them out. So that's why I drew that. I thought it was funny. And this is their profile, Crow's, Crow's Peak. And yeah, it was a defense for this, or a revenge for that one. Um... Then there's Era. I'm believing that's how you say it. Also for spicy pine needles, as I showed you earlier. Um, as you can see, yeah, this, this artist has a lot of info on all of her characters, and it's really nice. Then there's Reese. Or Reese, I'm not sure. Um, it's like a Jaboa or something with an eye, and I really liked the design of this guy. So I just had to draw. It was really cute. And that's by Rubik's Cube. Um, then there's Suit. The worm. I love worms. And this is by Jimmy Guy Merlaws. It has a lot of cool characters. And this is the original drawing of him. I just really like this art style as well. It's really cute. Then there's Regicide. Another one by Purple Fish. I really liked the character design of this one. As some of you might know, I do a little bit of... I guess you could call it horror-ish art. It's just a little creepy for some people. A lot of my friends like to call my artwork scary or creepy, so yeah. And this is Primrose. And this is the original character. I thought the design was really cute, and I'm trying to get more into drawing fluffy dragons. It's really hard. And this is by Dehydration Cat. And then there is... I'm not sure how to pronounce this one either, but this one is also by Spicy Pine Needles. And this is the original drawing, and I think that it's really cute. And then there is Nero. I had a lot of fun drawing this one. Um, I took inspiration for the pose because I've never really drawn horses much um, from this picture. I will post it in the video. Um, and I really had a lot of fun drawing this one. It's really complex design. And I would have liked to done it a little bit better. But I... I need to improve my artwork a little bit. And this is by Mrs. Luna Shadow. They were also really nice. And I did fix up the horns a little bit because they weren't supposed to be curvy like this and i'll show you that in a minute and then this is the guardian i only did a he headshot because i wasn't feeling like doing the whole body but this is a really cute design i love the art style it kind of reminds me of dragon nugget from pinterest i don't know if they have anything else i've only known them from pinterest 
but I really like this art style. And this is by Ace of Crows. Which, I really like that username. I love crows. Crows are one of my favorite animals. And then there is Super Drone 3000. This was a um, revenge for this art pictured in here. Uh, I have it just scanning the artwork that they gave me, which is really cute, by the way. And this is by Two. Or, it's for Two. Two is incredible on the amount of art they managed to post this year. I don't know how they managed to push out 2,513 art attacks. Now, they're not, like, colored or anything, but, like, good grief. That's a lot. Next one is Blueberry Ice Star. I've been trying to draw more horses because a lot of people seem to have My Little Pony um, characters that I've been trying to draw because a lot of them are really cute. And this is the original drawing for this. And the artist that I did it for. A lot of the characters are really cute. So yeah. Uh, then another horse, Nanami. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I really liked the character. It's by Mrs. Luna Shadow again. Um, and I would have liked to draw drawn a whole body, but I did not have motivation to finish it. And I'm not good at drawing flowers and all the little everything that's in this picture. And I love it. It's a great style. I really like this artist's style. Then there is Sayer, another really cute design, and I would have liked to done a whole full body. It's just a really cute character. I'm pretty sure this is like a Creatures of Scenaria or something else. I'm not sure, but it's really cute. And this is by Dandy Kirk. Then there is Citrus. This is a really fun one to draw, and I actually had out planned a huge um, drawing with it in a garden setting, like watering flowers and stuff, because of the lore on this character. But I didn't end up doing that because, as I said before, I'm really bad at drawing backgrounds, and you can't just have a garden without a background. So. But I really like this character, it's very cute. Then here's Pishigan. I tried, I've been trying to experiment with humans and then this um, cat-like human is something easier than a normal human, but still pretty bad. And I really don't like this art piece, so I'm sorry. And yeah, this is the original. Um, this is the, yeah, I've tried that already. Then there is this one. I really liked how this one turned out. This is Farah, and this one was a really fun one to draw. There's a lot of detail and stuff, but it was actually not that hard to draw. And this is the character that I drew, and the artist that I drew. Then this one is first of three mass attacks. It has um, a bunch of different characters. There's there's Howlite, Cerise, Hydrangea, Dialtair, Cinnamon, and Cobalt Dragon, aka Jaden. This was really fun to draw, and I was going to draw a few more, and that is just a background picture that I got off of Pinterest. It's just a background from real life. It's not a drawing, obviously. I didn't steal art. 
then this one is lots of worms. Um, there's Charles, Maxi, Ficello, A's, the Archivist, Milo, Yikes, Alioth, and Faceta, Quizlet, Z, Another Worm, Canvas the Worm, Ella, Moonworm, Sasha, and Volpis. That one was so much fun to make, and then I just had it spinning because, yes. And that one was the one that got me the most points. It's a lot. It was very fun to draw, though. Um, then there was this one. It's a uh, mass attack on YouTube, which I will show here. And it was very fun to do. And the characters in this were Feather, Fish, Sailfish, Spotless, and Friction. So that concludes it for all of my attacks. And here are the defenses that I got. To start off, this is Quicksand by Spicy Pine Needles, and I absolutely adore this design. It has so much detail, and she went in and actually read the descriptions of my characters and figured out how Quicksand and Twisted are related in lore, how Twisted saves Quicksand, but then... Yeah, you guys will figure that out later if I ever post lore videos on my channel. But anyways, you can see the shadow coming off of tw of Quicksand, and that is twisted in there. So, yeah, I really love this design, and I really want to thank Spicy Pine Needles for this. Next one is my character from Minecraft, and I love this design. It's so pretty. And this is by Crow S. Peak, and I, I just really like how this turned out. It's amazing. Then there's Slush by XLEBBB underscore B. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce names. Anyways, this is so pretty, and I would love to use this as like a profile picture or something someday. It is so good. I love it. And then the next one is Dart by Carmen, and I really like it, it's very cute. Then there is Slush, again, by Dehydration Cat. It's very cute, and I like how you did the sunrise and stuff in the background, it's very cute. Uh, then there is, again, my Minecraft character by Spicy Pine Needles. I love how she did the fire on the hands and stuff, and the wings outspread. It's just so cute. And on the feet, too. Like, I don't know how you do the fire like that, but it's amazing. Thank you. Then, after that one, is 733 by 2. It's really cute, and nobody else managed to attack 733 because it's a very complex design, um, as seen here. Very complex, so thank you for this drawing, it's cute. Then there's Slush again. I really like the shading and lighting in this, and the background is so pretty. And this is by Kitball. Then this is Fraction. I absolutely love this piece. It is so amazing. The lighting, the shading, the background, everything about it is just absolutely amazing. This is by Lunar Shadow. This is Lunar Shadow. Then there is uh, Dungeon Bad Today. And this is just such a cute design. I love it by Ace of Crows. And I like how you did the kind of tape looking background it's very cute with all the squiggles and stuff i just really like this design it looks so good then here is twisted by local gator this is so cute i absolutely love it i like the stars in the background as well and how you put 
the red around him and in his eye the star. It's just so cute. Then there is another one of my Minecraft AC. It's very amazing. I love the lighting and all the all the different colors you put in this. This is by Howlite. It's just so good. And then this is Oleander by Squeaky Duck. I really like this. It's really cute. He kind of looks he kind of looks like he's wearing an oversized hoodie and I love it. <laughs> Thank you for this. This is just so cute. And then quicksand. I really like how you did the kind of empty look in his eye and the blood running off of it. This is by Dandeker. And this is, once again, my Minecraft OC by Just Maple. I just really like this. Thank you so much. I love it. Anyways, yeah, that's it for Art Fight this year. And thank you guys so much, those of you who attacked me. This was so much fun this year. And I'm definitely going to join again next year.